what's up YouTube I'm here with a different video this one's actually gonna be a small mini scheme from the New Orleans book which I actually have an ebook out that's been very successful I've got a lot of good feedback from you guys that this ebook has really helped you guys move up in weekend league rankings move up ahead to head rankings and really all together become a bad mad player and that's essentially my goal now I mean I've established myself as one of the best man players in the world and one of my biggest passions is helping you guys get better because I want everybody to love this game the way I do. And I feel like the way you do that is to get better at the game, see the game how I see it, and, and really become a better player, both on offense and defense. But this is mostly for defense. And one of my biggest struggles personally coming into this year and that year is where I'm going to put all my content. What am I going to sell? What am I going to put on YouTube? What am I going to do with sub tips? What's Twitch only? What do I hide for myself to compete? That's one of the biggest things I think about all the time. And this little mini scheme I really wanted just to add to the ebook, you know, because it's already it's already three great formations in there, I believe. And personally, I only really use one or two, but you know, that my ebook has a three great formations in it. And this was another one I was going to add, but I decided to go ahead, let's make this a little YouTube mini scheme. So obviously if you don't want to pay for the ebook, you don't want to go down that route. That's cool, but you can look at this and learn. And this will give you an idea of some of the things that go into what I do, making plays and, and calling plays and, and deciding where I'm going to throw the ball. Now, this is Pistol Bunch. Pistol Bunch tight end is a compressed set. And what's good about this set is that you're going to have to play pass defense because you have three wide receivers, you have a tight end, and a running back. So you're going to have to defend the pass, but you can also run the ball very effectively out of this set because it has a draw that's compressed. Compressed draws are always good because you have everybody right there in the tackle box blocking. It also has a halfback zone, and it has strong power. We know strong power has been a great running man for many years since it's been in the game. And it also has a counter and something and a run like that. I mean, I'm not going to break down the running game on, on this video, but, you know, because I hardly use it, but... If you're a runner, this is a great way to force them to be in pass defense and run the ball and vice versa because you're running the ball. Maybe now they'll be in and put more linebackers on the field and you can go ahead and pass because you still have your three wide receivers. And I'll show you the, the three different pass plays I love to use out of this. So here we go. Pistol bunch tight end. The number one thing I want you to do personnel wise is put your fastest receiver in the top of the bunch. I have the Saints. I want to use Ted Ginn. Probably the second fastest receiver out on the left and the outside guy. I'm going to use Michael Thomas there. The first play we're going to take a look at is bunch verticals. I mean, vertical is one of the best plays in the game. Honestly, this crossing route to B just dominates zone. It cannot be covered in zone. You have this seam route to Ted Ginn, which will scorch cover two. Two men under will be instant touchdowns. And you have the wheel route to Thomas, which will be cover two. And obviously, I dragged the tight end as my first setup of this because, I mean, you got to be able to have an option to throw the ball quick if they're blitzing. Or if they play coverage and they're backed off, you know, you got to be able to throw the ball to your Kelsey's and Gronks and, and run people over, get extra yards. Also, the beautiful thing about this, this little of a delay route check down to Alvin Kamara. You know, you want to be able to utilize all five people on the field. This play does a good job of that, being able to utilize all these people. Mostly you're going to check down to Kamara and your tight end, but we really want to hit this B route because zones do not cover it. I mean, deep blue won't cover it and it'll run past yellows and purples and things like that. Also, always love to run my bunch to the wide side of the field. It makes all these routes better, especially this seam route right up the middle with Ted Ginn. That is where I would put my Tyree Kill or my other fastest receiver. I really think Tyree Kill and Moss over here to the X receiver, Michael Thomas and cover two doing that wheel route over the cloud flat. I would think Moss and Tyree Kill would make this scheme that much better. I think they're the two wide receivers that are must-haves in Mutt. Ted Ginn right up the middle, you see that could be Tyree Kill for you. Check underneath the Benjamin Watson. I, mean, I really don't have a preference in tight end. I actually use Gurley at tight end. If you want to learn how to do that, you can hit the ebook and learn how to get Gurley at tight end. And there we go. That crossing route, that's cover three. The cover three zones have no chance to cover it. Luke Keekley even matched up on Cameron Meredith, and he just was no chance for a bad receiver like Meredith. There I go. The little delay route to Alvin Kamara is really tricky and really can help you get a lot of yards. Once again, we see Luke Keekley tries to cover Meredith. Imagine if that's your Herman Moore, your Jerry Rice, or somebody like that. He's going to get wide open. This is two man under, and you see what Ted Ginn does to that because he can't be covered, and, and the zone's spread out because we run the bunch to the wide side of the field. Make sure your bunch is on the wide side. Alvin Kamara underneath. You can't cover him. That looks like a real Saints game, the way Alvin Kamara is running away from a linebacker. 
Two man under again. Once again, Ted Ginn is just wide open. Can't cover that seam round two man under. The nice little dot that I come up with is just this wheel route here to Alvin Kamara. Because they're going give, to give you the wheel route. It doesn't control what side you put the wheel route. But this puts it to the bunch side. And with all the deep routes, it really creates this hole so you can hit Alvin Kamara and get nice little chunks of yards. I mean, we pay a lot of coin for our LeSean McCoys, our, you know, whatever running back you may have, whether it be Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, whoever you think is the best running back in the game. And this is a way for, to get easy yards to him, get them the ball in space. I know a lot of times we run the ball and, you know, you don't always get them in space, but the best thing to do is have your best player in space and that what that play is allowed. The next play I'm going to show you guys is spot option. This is a cover three bomb. What's going to happen is Ted Ginn's corner route is going to control the left deep blue if they're running cover three. A lot of four six is cover three. A lot of, three, you know, four three is cover three. So you're going to want to have this in your back pocket. Like I said, I would love Tyreek Hill on Y and Moss on X because as you can see Michael Thomas is still getting big plays even though he's not fast. But if you had, you know, 92 speed, 93 speed Moss out there, this would be easy touchdowns. But even with Michael Thomas, it's close to a touchdown. He's getting grabbed at the last second there by the strong safety. The last play I'm going to show you is one of the best stock plays in the game. When I say stock, I mean there, you need no hot routes to run this play. You can come out and quick snap it. You know, they might get so used to B being a receiver that they man up for the crossing route. You have to have a crossing route to another receiver in your set. That is a crossing route to Y here. And it also has the double drags underneath to both Meredith and Watson. I want to see here that if they play play off, you always have this tight end drag. The tight end is going to eat. Alvin Kamara is going to eat. But if they start paying too much attention to that, you're going to be able to go ahead and hit these bigger plays down the field. As you see here, Y, Ted Ginn. The deep blue zone has nowhere to go. The flat zones and yellow zones are sucked down by the drag on the other side. And right now, I'm noticing that my deep in route, as you see again again, making a play, is too close to my crossing route. So this play, I'll motion out my deep in route. Have a lot better spacing there, but I still want to hit Ted again over there. That, that route is really hard to guard. So there you have it, YouTube. Those are the three little quick plays I wanted to show you guys that I use out of bunch tight end, pistol bunch tight end. To go along with the runs like i said you can really mix in the runs very well out of this set because they are very effective they can run both set ways and also right up the gut your tight end and running back are going to get involved i showed you many ways to get your running back involved so if you have Le'Veon bell or you have ty Gurley, or you have some of the best running backs in the game this is a great formation to get them involved get them to the football also a lot of things that i i I want to portray to people as far as passing the balls. I, I want you to have a plan when you drop back and pass the ball. I always have a plan. I have somebody I want to throw to. I think we all have somebody we want to throw the football to. And on most of these plays, on verticals, it's that crossing route. Or if they're going to give up the seam, we want to take the seam. But on verticals, it's the crossing route. So that's what you want to look for. But most people, what you have to do is have a plan to where am I going to go with the ball if they manually cover that route. So when I call a play, I always say, oh, I'm calling you know, bunch of verticals, and I want to throw the crossing route. So I got to assume that this guy is going to cover the crossing route, and where am I going to throw the ball to now? So if he covers the crossing route, now I know I have my tight end on a drag, and I have my running back on that delay route over the middle. Little check downs to make them eventually come down and cover that so I can hit B, because I want the big yards. I don't want to go 10, 12 plays up the field. I want to score in three or four plays. And God forbid if they forget about Ted getting up the seam, that's a touchdown. So that's why I love verticals, and I, you always have to have an idea of where am I going to go with the ball if they cover my main option. That's something I want you guys to get better at learning when you're passing the football. And that's what I do with verticals. And the same thing with the cross-drag play. I mean, you have two drags to throw to, but I still want to throw to that wide route crossing the field. But most players, at least good players, are going to take away that deep route. So you have to know where you're going to go, either with two of the drags, or you can hit that backside in route if they cover Y all the way on the sideline there. So that's just an idea of, you know, how I think passing the ball. Obviously, I, we all have somebody we want to pass to. We all want the big yards. We all want the touchdowns. We all want it easy. But you have to always have a plan on what to do if they cover that play that you want to throw or they cover the big route that you want to do. And that's something that I want you guys to realize that, you know, you have to hit the check, the check downs. You have to hit your tight end, have to hit your running back, have to get the yards that are there on the field. So if you like this video, please comment below on what other formations you want me to put a little mini scheme out on. If you like what this pistol bunch tight end brought to your game, 
imagine what the rest of the ebook will bring that link is below in my description to check out the new orleans ebook it has three more formations that are just as powerful as this one if not more powerful also i have a way to get todd Gurley a tight end that's something i use very effectively if you want to watch me play the link to my twitch is below as well you can check that out check me out live i really appreciate all the support and the feedback fellas is really growing channel's really growing so let me know what more you want to see what you want to learn from me and how i can help you guys get better at madden